So where do we begin? We last left off with me enjoying a great bonding picnic with my staff and boom, I went MIA for a while. It was a great time and a nice way to start the month of March, but neither did I know March had its own plans. Hmm. Well, a lot's been happening and it's time to update you guys. While I have been attending some events, I've been battling landlord issues, slow business, and even got my phone stolen. And that's why I look like this. So let's get right into it. You ever get so excited about taking your trip to Ghana, imagining you on the beach and roaming the streets of Accra and its markets, and then it hits you that when you land, you have no one to absolutely pick you up. Maybe your family is too far or does not have a big enough car to carry all your mini luggages. Well, I'm here to tell you that no fear, Arrange Airport Transfer is here. Arrange Airport Transfer takes the stress out of arrival with their luxury airport transfers. Their friendly and professional drivers will ensure a smooth, respectful journey to your destination. They value honesty, punctuality, and exceeding your expectations with a touch of Ghanaian hospitality. So next time you're in Ghana, book yourself a luxury airport transfer with a range and you can use my code on the screen to get 20% off your ride. Thank you Arrange for sponsoring this video. Like I said in the beginning, I've been attending some really cool events in between all the madness in my life. Definitely much needed. But before everything started, I really had this cool idea to share random thoughts while I was in the streets of Accra. But I think we're going to have to save it for another day. Oh yeah, I finally got a TV too. Yay! <laughs> Thank you to my friends for always dragging me out when needed. We even went to this food event with the girls called the Chop Bar Experience. So let's check that out. Funny thought, Ghanaians will say they don't have money, but always find a way to chill. <laughs> okay, fun's over, back to the issues in my life. Y'all see that leak? Well, according to my landlord, it's not her worry, but mine's. So one hot Tuesday morning, instead of me being at the shop, I found myself in the back of my house watching this man fix my leaking polytank. 
an issue that was there prior to me moving and was told that it would get fixed the first week I literally moved there and nothing ever happened. So all I can say about this situation, guys, is when you rent any place in Ghana, please do thorough checks and make sure the landlord takes care of everything before you move in. Because once you start living there, everything becomes your problem. Well, back to a little fun too. The girl saw how I was so stressed and said that let's go grab some food. One of my fave things to do in this Accra is try new places. Well, we went to a Jamaican spot called Ting Nice. I definitely enjoyed my meal. Prices was pretty decent and the food was tasty. They only serve oxtails on Friday and I went on a Thursday. So because of that, they're getting an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Then I had a shoot for one of my friends. He's starting a show on YouTube that talks about dating in Accra. And of course, he had to get Nana and I opinion. Stay tuned for that. It was a fun and interesting episode. Mind you guys, because I was getting all frustrated with my landlord, I started looking at apartments just in case because I was stressed. Here was one that I stole. I wasn't really feeling it, so I lost interest in looking. So I've decided to put random photos here because at this very point, my phone was stolen. I was literally working on a vlog to post that very next day. I went to a family's event that evening, took a lot of fun videos and was going to add it to the vlog for that week. And boom, my phone was gone. All I can say is you cannot be nice in the streets of Accra anymore. Don't give your phone to no one to put their phone number in, to give you socials, or even just let them use it to make a phone call. Because my sister and brother, they will drive off with your phone, snatch it in traffic, and you can't do nothing about it. That was another burden to carry in the midst of everything happening. And at this point, I was tired and I needed time away from everything. With no phone, I was not on socials or nothing for two weeks. And I ended my month in prayer and fasting right into Easter. <laughs> was a much needed time off to reflect spend close time with friends check out the new ultra store for the shop Quick trip with Location Ghana and continue with my hustle. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog because there's more to update, but I'll save it for the next video. So until then, I'll see you guys.